in epidemiology, which is sort of the study of populations, when we look at an illness like COVID-19, we see an initial um, little bit of a flattening where people are sort of saying, yeah, we know something's going out there. And then at a certain point, it reaches a, a certain area where it, we see a spike in the number of cases and the number of fatalities. And the whole idea of social isolation is to try to bend that curve. In other words, to prevent that big spike. We know that there will be some cases. We know that there will be some deaths, unfortunately, but we wanna minimize that as much as possible. The rules seem to change day by day and hour by hour. But if we look at other epidemics and other worldwide pandemics, we know that by learning from what we've had in prior cases, things like Spanish flu and uh, plague and things like that, that if we can get people separated where they're not spending a lot of time in close quarters, um, we can really make a difference in terms of minimizing the effects over time on large numbers of people. For those individuals who develop severe disease, we want to make sure to have adequate supplies, adequate number of gowns and masks for our healthcare providers to take care of them so they don't get the illness, adequate amount of supplemental oxygen, IV lines, ventilators, things like that that we need.